The problem is, can you get the American people to say this is really important and force their representatives to do the right thing? Uh, that requires mobilizing a, a citizenry. That requires them understanding what is at stake. Uh, you know, and, and climate change is a great example. You know, when I was asked earlier about uh, the issue of coal, uh, you know, under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Even, you know, regardless of what I say about whether coal is good or bad, because I'm capping greenhouse gases, coal powered plants, you know, natural gas, you name whatever the plants were, whatever the industry was, they would have to. Uh, retrofit their operations. That will cost money. They will pass that money on to consumers. They, you, can already, you can already see what the arguments are going to be during the general election. People will say, ah, Obama and Al Gore, these folks, they're going to destroy the economy. This is going to cost us $8 trillion or whatever their number is. Um, if you can't persuade the American people that, yes, there is going to be some increase in electricity rates on the front end, but that over the long term, because of combinations of more efficient energy usage and changing light bulbs and more efficient appliances, uh, but also technology improving how we can produce clean energy, that the economy will benefit. If we can't make that argument persuasively enough, you, 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 can, uh, you can be Lyndon Johnson. You can be the master of Washington. You're not going to get that done.